It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Bischoff Schoff Zuigel and it's a Keller beer coming in at 5.1% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the swing bottle top. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Boom! Nice bit of smoke on the opening as always with these spring it's like a spring-loaded bottle top, or like maybe a cantilever or something. So a Keller beer. Keller beer is a very, very old style of German beer. This beer's got good carbonation. It's a very light coloured ale with a four-finger, slightly off-white head. Very clear to look at. There's no, there's no haze there, there's little bits and pieces floating around. It looks pretty good. The beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk. Beers of Europe, the largest online beer store in the UK with loads and loads of beer from all over the world. Uh, it, it's, it's one of my favourite places, not just because they're our channel sponsor, but it's one of my favourite places to browse beer because there's a fantastic selection from Belgium and Germany and America and the UK and, and, and everywhere else in the world. So check out beersofeurope.co.uk in the comments box below or in the description box below in the video. Uh, let's get the aroma. And exactly what I was kind of expecting from this beer. I was expecting a traditional multi aroma and taste and that's exactly what I've got. Looks like a lager. This is a classic German swig back beer. Let's swig some back. Cheers. Nettly, brambly type hops, like a stinging nettle hop flavour on the back end. You get a lot of biscuit malt, good carbonation. And to be honest with you, I've rushed around a bit to set up for these reviews tonight, and I'm quite thirsty. I ate about two hours ago, so I'm kind of thirsty at the same time. And on a late spring evening when it's raining outside it's quite sticky the atmosphere I'm quite warm that's what I'm trying to say this is the perfect beer to refresh you mm. it's uncomplicated it's very traditional it probably sells very, very well in Germany. And to be honest, I like it. I like it. It's, it's not overly sweet with the malt, uh, but you, you still get a good malt biscuity presence, a good carbonation, easy drinking, slug back beer, nice bit of hoppiness on the back end. And the hoppiness is coming through, as I mentioned earlier, as a kind of a stinging nettle, a little bit of What am I looking for? A little bit of bite there from the hops. Spice, a little bit of spice. It's not a bad beer. Let's see if it is bottle conditioned. Mm. Well, look at that. So getting all of the bottle into the glass now is giving a a slightly hazy look so I imagine the beer might taste a little bit different let's uh, let's get back in ah, pretty much the same pretty much the same I'm not gonna bang on about the flavors anymore and um, I think you've got the idea of what this beer looks like smells like and tastes like uh, would I order another bottle from Beers of Europe? Do you know if the circumstances were right? Say, say you, you had a family member who was really interested in drinking world beer uh, and, and, and he somehow picked up a book and talked about alt, 
Keller beer, somebody said alt beer there. Keller beer. This would be an unoffensive Keller beer to, to bring out and, and show to somebody. Classic swing top bottle top on there for, for, for the kind of traditionalists out there. Beer's nice, good lacing on the glass, pretty tasty brew, very refreshing. Let's rate it. It's a 7 out of 10 beer all day long. 7 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. You've been for a run, you've been in work all day, you've just cooked a meal, you've dug the garden, you've washed your car, you've washed your windows, you know, you've worked up a sweat basically, and you want a beer just to slug back? It's not a bad beer. So that was Bischoff Schoff Zugel Natrib's Keller Beer. 5.1% ABV. My pronunciation is probably terrible, as, as you all kind of have, have learned to know by now with my channel. Uh, so comment in the comments box if you think, or if you know how to pronounce this beer a little bit better, or the brewery. 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.